the Techiman Circuit Court, one gentleman presenting himself as Idrisu Yaya uh, appeared before the court this morning to defend a case involving some four gentlemen who, according to reports, were involved in some robbery and then kidnapping case. Well, he's here to seek for bail for them and uh, according to the information we've gathered here, he charged them over 25,000 Ghana cities to do that particular uh, defense for them. The judge, his lordship justice Alexander Graham, per his interactions with the suspected fake lawyer, realized that the said gentleman is not a lawyer as expected. So he interrogated him and through their interactions he realized that the gentleman had no license from the law school. He was subsequently handed over to the police for interrogations. Divisional Police Commander Chief Superintendent Ohine Bwedi Bosman has been sharing with journeys how he was arrested. Received a call from the circuit court judge in Techima that uh, somebody has come to his court claiming to be a lawyer, but he thinks he has come there to, to, to impersonate. So looking at his demeanor and the way he presented his case, he saw that the guy is not a lawyer, so he called him in chambers with one lawyer from Pong. They had an interview with him, and they realized that uh, after their findings, they realized that the guy was not what he think he is. So they called the police to come to the court and arrest the guy. So we sent our guys there. They brought him. Uh, he's called uh, in Yaya. Who is a 34 year old. According to his train teacher at uh, uh, a place called uh, Modaso in the central region, he teaches in GHS. So we are still investigating the case. We ensure that we get to the bottom of the case and the law takes its own course from there. We've been interacting with the said gentleman, Idrisu Yaya, and this is what he's been saying in relation to whether he is actually called to the bar or not. I'm addressing you here. What do you do for your living? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Yes. For which uh, school? My primary chambers. The school, I mean, not the chambers. Which school? Maranatha University College. It's a London school, but has a branch in Ghana here. How long have you been doing do this? A law profession, how long have you been in, into the profession? It has been about uh, two years now. You said you graduated in 2019. One year. You graduated in September 2019. And we are in February 2020. That is less than f f four months. So, what do you say for, for a year or two? You said for two years, then you said for one year. Last year. Last year. I started how long have you been practicing as a professional lawyer? That's from 20, from uh, October 2019 till now. And that is le less than six months? Yes. How many cases have you uh, uh, represented as a lawyer? Do you remember since then? I think this should be my third case. Have you been called to the bar? Not yet. Are you aware without being, if you're not being called to the bar, you have no right to defend everything in the course of the Well, I'm aware. So what you're doing now is illegal. Do you agree? If it is so. Some of the lawyers present at the course when the incident happened shared with Joy News how shocked they are at the turn of events. I'm a bit surprised because to get this um, carriage to come to court and say that you were a lawyer, appear before a second court judge, I was a bit surprised. A bit surprised in the sense that um, having a district court, especially the, the Kayomi, that would have been. But for a circuit court, Chechiman, you know, which is the original capital, for you to have that encouraged, I, I was a bit surprised. You pretend that he or she is a lawyer, despite amazing that people like this have that courage. See? And the way he presents himself, that he attended. 
a private law school in Ghana here. There is no private law school in the Republic of Ghana. We have only one law school. It belongs to the state. Chief Superintendent Bosman, however, has a word of caution to the general public as well as people in such businesses. Uh, I want to advise the public to be mindful of people of such nature. They come, they put on uh, 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 suits like lawyers, they put on the gown or the, everything that depicts a lawyer just to fake and uh, dupe their, 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 their clients. So we are telling them that if you want to hire a lawyer, go to the chambers. There are a lot of chambers here. You can even go to the courts and somebody will get you a good lawyer. From the Techiman Circuit Court, I am Anna Sabit for joining us.